welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today we're going to be smoking the Pi Synesthesia Red 6x52 Toro. It features an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And this comes to us courtesy of Tim Ogener at Ogener Cigars, Ogener Family Cigars, in partnership with Crowned Heads. The red is slightly different than the yellow, which was last year's limited edition release. The yellow featured in Ecuadorian Connecticut. This is now an Ecuadorian Sumatra. And just like any wrapper comparison, we're expecting there to be bolder, spicier flavors, hence the red footband that is available in the photos. But being that this is off the trade show floor at PCA, this does not have the red footband. This cigar is in partnership as well between Ogner and Crowned Heads at Tabacalera La Alianza, which is, I believe, EPC Carillo's factory. It is noticeably Spicier just off of smelling the foot and the cigar. Beautiful triple cap at the top. And the MSRP for these has not changed. $15 MSRP, boxes of 12, will run right around $180. Super excited as the Pi Synesthesia in that beautiful Ecuadorian Connecticut style shade wrapper was one of my top choices in an above or in an under 54 ring gauge cigar. This will be coming out in September of this year, 2023. You'll see in the overhead cam that this was at a 68% RH. I did dry boxes for a couple of days, got it down to about a 65. So current smoking RH, 65. The initial flavors off this are nothing like the Pi Synesthesia Yellow. This is the red, has got a ton of spice on it, deep, rich leather notes, as well as some barbecue, and honestly, char, like char off of a well-smoked brisket, that bark on the end of it. Reminds me a lot more of the Red Meat Lovers start off than it does the actual pie synesthesia start. Definitely at an eight or a nine, as far as spice goes, right off the initial lighting. The first third here on our pie synesthesia, and you can see we got a little bit of a wavy burn line, but so far the ash hold is pretty good. Biggest difference is definitely medium plus body, medium plus strength to the cigar. A lot more spice off the retrohale. We're still at about a seven as far as the retrohale goes. A wonderful coffee note, almost like a cappuccino style coffee note to it. There's also a very strong cedar finish to this stick. It's not really that much black pepper, but off the retrohale, you definitely get a ton of cedar pepper, definitely get a ton of cedar spice, as well as that nutmeg kind of baking spice to it. This undeniable difference between this blend and the original Pi Synesthesia with the yellow with the yellow footband. And rightfully so, they're completely different blends. The idea with Tim Ogener was for this to be an artistic expression. His dad, Cano, was a very artistic person and apparently a very prolific painter. That's where the band work kind of comes from. So the idea is that each expression is unique. It is characterized by color and by the actual, you know, colors of the band and red is designed to <laughs> red is designed to indicate spice full body full flavor full strength so it's by design that this is completely different than the yellow i just want to point that out for those of you out there that are trying to differentiate between which one you want to smoke that connecticut on the yellow is a completely different blend and it is much more mellow creamy smooth delicious than this and um this is definitely more in your face, bold, medium to full body, medium plus to full body, and a ton of spice, both with peppers and with cedar spice. Finishing up the final third on our pie synesthesia red, I would recommend pairing this with your old fashioned Manhattan Negroni, very perfect martini style stirred cocktails. Something that has enough complexity, a velvety smooth texture to it, and layers of flavor, because that's going to help you integrate and also harmonize with all of the cedar spice and pepper and nutmeg and baking spice that's on this cigar. It truly evolves into a very spice forward, very dominant cigar, medium plus to full body throughout the entire smoking experience. And you wanna pair that up with medium plus to full body liquor expressions and cocktails as well. I think that your Madeira Port Cherries 
along with your red wines of the world would benefit you highly in the pairing set. For non-alk pairings, I would strongly encourage coffees, especially cappuccinos, lattes, some milk fats, kind of cut through some of the cedar spice and baking spice that's on this stick. I would like to take this opportunity to shout out Manscaped for sending along the Beard Hedger. This is courtesy of the team at Manscaped. It's a pleasure to always work with you. Thank you all so much for sending this out to me, as I do a fair amount of beard trimming every single week. There's no half dozen attachments, so I don't know about you, but my current beard trimmer has like all of the different um, pieces that you put on top. So you pop this out here, right? And there's like 20 of them. I got it off of Amazon, it was like 30 bucks or whatever. Beautiful electric trimmer. However, <laughs> having 30 different attachments is kind of a pain in the ass. Manscaped kind of solved that by having one different attachment that goes on there as kind of a guard for your face. And then it has a scroll wheel, just like an old iPod, right? Where you can click how close or how far you want the trimmer to be for your face which I really appreciate. It all fits neatly in this wonderful little case along with charging cord and USB-C. One of my favorite things about this is that it is USB-C, so they include a USB-C charging cord. So you have your charging brick and your charging cord. Those are the only accessories that are in the kit. You don't have to worry about any dozen pieces everywhere, which is kind of nice. Like most of the Manscaped products, it is waterproof and it shines in the shower on the go. Thank you very much to Manscaped. I look forward to putting this to really good use. And if you want any of the products by Manscaped, I will have an affiliate link down below. Overall at $15 MSRP, this probably isn't going to be one that I jump back into right away. I think that at best, this is a single stick worthy cigar. It really just was not my particular cup of tea. For those of you out there that really love your Corojos and spicy Sumatrans out there, this is going to be a great cigar for you and you're probably going to love it. For me though, just has very little transition, not a whole lot of underlying flavors. I did appreciate the coffee that I got in the first third along with some of the leather and other components to it, but it just, it didn't have enough of a confectionery note to it. It didn't have any syrupy molasses sweetness or any type of kind of uh, underlying notes past the cashew, almond, creamy, nutty components in the first third. Just ended up finishing in the second and final third with a whole bunch of cedar spice and baking spice. And that's just really not my cup of tea. You know, one of the early issues that I had with the H99 Phineas Gage in that smaller kind of Lancero format was that it was just too spicy and it didn't really, it lacked a lot of transitions. And I liken this to that, you know, it's just in a different format, in a Toro format, which for me should have more transitions, should have a little bit deeper of a kind of flavor palette that I can uh, extract different things on. And overall, it's a very well-crafted cigar. I appreciate Tim Osner taking us on this journey and showing us a different side of the Pi Synesthesia, but I'm gonna stick to my yellow band, <laughs> my yellow foot band, Pi Synesthesia is from 2022. That's more my speed. And uh, I look forward to seeing kind of what the, the next iteration of the Pi Synesthesia comes out with, you know, could be Cameroon, could be Maduro, could be something completely different. So looking forward to seeing what he comes up with in the future. But for me, this is a single stick worthy cigar. And I would just like to say thank you all so much for liking, following, commenting, subscribing, continuing to do all of those YouTubery things. I greatly appreciate you helping to grow the channel here and the community. Look for us on Spotify and Rumble as those are the backups in case anything ever happens here on YouTube. And I look forward to catching you again for another Ozgener Family Cigars, Pie Synesthesia Cigar Review.